Today we're reading The Snarch. Words by Sean Farrell, pictures by Charles Santoso. Ruthie has a problem at school. <sighs> it's not the students, it's not the classroom, it's not the reading or the writing or the math. It is the snurch. Ah! Teacher says, Ruthie, please take your seat. There is her seat and there is the snurch. Oh, not again. The snurch is a lot of things. Nice is not one of them. Hmm. Ugh. The snurch is scribbly and scrunchy. Give it back! The snurch is grabby and burpy and rude. Uh, and the snurch is always with Ruthie. Leave me alone. When teacher calls on Ruthie, the snurch throws her pencils. And Ruthie forgets the question. Stop throwing my pencils! During recess, the snurch makes rude noises and no one wants Ruthie to play. <laughs> And when everyone draws in art class, the snurch becomes truly terrible. It hides, it waits, and when teacher asks if anyone wants to share their work, it leaps, it grabs, it crumples, it makes sure no one will like George's drawing. No! Teacher says, Ruthie, that is not okay. It wasn't me, says Ruthie. It was the snurch. No one has a life as difficult as Ruthie's. This is so hard. 10 whole minutes later, Ruthie tries to draw something pretty or cute or happy, but all that comes out of her crayons is unhappy scribbles. The snurch is no help. Hmm. Ruthie looks really hard at the snurch. Ruthie draws. Art class ends. Teacher asks if anyone would like to share. No one is more surprised than Ruthie when she stands up. No one except the snurch. I will, says Ruthie. Oh my goodness. She shows the class her drawing, her classmates look. It's what throws our pencils, says one. It what makes weird noises, says another. It's what drew in my drawing, says George. Ruthie knows the snurch wants to run away and hide. I'm sorry about that, says Ruthie. That's okay, says George, and I like your drawing. And then another kid says the same, and another, and another, until everyone agrees. Ruthie has drawn a wonderful snurch. Ruthie likes school. She likes the students. She likes the classroom. She likes the reading and the writing and the math. And Ruthie still has a snurch. The snurch is still scribbly and scrunchy. The snurch is still burpy and grabby and rude. But the snurch also listens sometimes. Hands are not for grabbing. And sometimes the snurch is even sorry. I'm sorry. And as hard as it can be to sit next to a snurch, Ruthie realizes she is not alone. George has one too. Ah! I like your drawing, says Ruthie. Thanks, says George. The end.